I'm at the graveyard at night. Cleaning this abandoned grave for free. I have so many questions in my head. What happened? How did this grave get so dirty? Who's buried here? Her name's Bienvenida. Wow. Her name means welcome in Espanol. Wait a minute. Her grave should be welcoming too. But right now, this is the dirtiest grave I've ever seen. That's so unfair. Everyone deserves a beautiful resting place. Bienvenida died on July 23rd, 1980. Her star sign is Aries. My best friend is an Aries. I wonder what Bienvenida's life was like. Does she like chocolate cupcakes? What killed her? This transformation is a lot of work. I might be here all night, but it's so fun. Ooh, a little bug. Thank you to everyone who supports and follows. One day she go head to the wrong grave and they gonna have something for her ass. My dumb ass did this when I was 11 years old. I went to the cemetery, tried to clean up in one grave, thinking that, I don't know, it'll give me some luck. I didn't realize this grave was from 1823 and it was a white lady. So how do you think that worked out for me? Look at my skin tone. A lady who died in the 1800s, a white woman. And look at my skin tone. Do you think she wanted me cleaning her grave? Hell no. Instantly heard her say, girl, if you don't get your black ass up off my house. And she also followed me home. She felt so disrespected. And all I did was pull some leaves and try to clean it up. She felt so disrespected that she tried to follow me home. She literally tried to whoop my ass. I had to get my grandma. I'm like, Grandma, help me. I don't know what's going on. She's like, well, what happened? I'm like, well, I went to the cemetery to help. She said, and I say, what now? I got a whipping that night. It took my grandma to pull her and drag her ass. Y'all don't do stupid shit, okay? And I bet she is not even going in the right way and leaving the right way. I, this lady got so many spirits in her damn house and inside of her and all her children probably because she just bringing them home with her. Y'all just be asking for chaos to happen. She got that big ass flashlight in the cemetery at night. All the dead people is looking at her because all the attention is on her. They are all surrounded by her, trust me, because of that damn flashlight. Not to mention she's filming. So ultimately, they feel disrespected because it's a house. Those spirits know she's doing this for like some followers. So I know they made it. I've been in the cemetery many, many times. Late, late at night. You do not use no damn flashlight and bring no attention to you at all. She done fucked herself up. There are things like they they say what? They say they're superstitious. And they they say that we are doing some I don't know, like they say it's superstitious and and on all, all of those things. So Mm -hmm. So when we tell them they do not listen, they do not listen at all. So, and she does look a little bit weird when you look at her. It must be because of all the spirits. Because how do you do that? No, like seriously, like how do you do that with a straight face? How do you do that with a straight face? I know that in my family, you would never do such a thing. I guess this is why my grandma used to tell us that we should not go for to funerals. I mean, not funerals, but graveyards unnecessarily. Maybe it's to communicate to your people. That's fine. To communicate to your people and then leave. I guess this is why they say the cemetery is one of the best places to sleep. You just go there and sleep because all the spirits are leaving. They're leaving. But the minute you start drawing attention to you, now they're distracted from what they're about to do. You know, they're distracted. And now all of the focus are on you. You're dragging them back home. Like she's saying, you're bringing them back home. You're bringing them into your home, your life. And you think you're doing a good thing. And one day you're going to get someone. Imagine if you're a white person, you come to my place. I remember one time I went to the cemetery with my mother and we were visiting my sister, right? And because we wanted like a tombstone and we we're trying to get like ideas of what kind of like tombstone, my mom, I don't know why she did this. My mama, and she's old. She's as old she is. 
she went on, took a picture of this graveyard, right? It does not want to take picture. Like she, the woman that was there, she was like, what the fuck is she doing? Literally. Literally. She was like, what the heck is she doing? What? Why is she like this? Why is she in my space? Why is she in my house? So you wouldn't take pictures. And eventually, she went there pleading. She was there pleading. She was like, you know, I did not mean to disrespect you. I'm sorry. The only reason I am doing this is because I want to make the very same thing for my own daughter that is similar. That is similar to your graveyard. I'm sorry if you felt disrespected. I it was not my intention. I'm not trying to do anything to you. So I'm sorry. And that was the only time she was even allowed to take a picture. The the phone started working again. Because I, I can listen, if a white person comes this is why again I want to be burned. Cremated. Cremate cremated. Cremated? I'm not sure. Is that the word? I want to be cremated. I want to be that. I want to be burned. My body, ashes, turned into ashes. Because white people over time have a tendency of disrespecting graveyards. Disrespecting the people there. So me, I don't want that. I don't want that for myself. I don't want to be unnecessarily in spaces that I don't want to be in. Sleeping with people. Like, I don't want that. Like, I don't want that. Like, sleeping like that. In a, I don't like that. Like, I never really felt like I want my body like that. I don't feel like I want my body like that. And I don't understand why is it the only way that we should be buried and taught that way. So for me, I was like, you know what, when it happens that I'm joining my people, that side, I'm expecting something more decent. And again, they would tell me, oh, well, it's tradition. Tradition is saying this. And I'm like, girl, girl. So no, I don't want that for myself, sincerely and honestly. It's very important for me that I get better. But either way, do not do that. Do not go to, it's not funny, it's not nice. Those people are resting. You know, and white people, I see, they do this a lot. They be like, I'm cleaning what I want. Clean your own people's grave. If you clean white people's grave, sometimes you even clean the wrong spirits. You shouldn't be near them. You take them home, you invite them into your space because that's what you're doing. You shouldn't be doing that. You need, you're going to need a cleansing, a cleanser. You're going to need to be cleansed from all the spirits that you've collected. This is why sometimes you'll be addicted to this thing of doing what you're doing. I mean, look at from the sound, from the way that she's talking, from the way she's doing everything. This is very fun for her. She's looking for excitement in the wrong places. Mm -hmm.